well for her. Jaws, released in 1975 and is directed by the great Steven Spielberg, who... Come on, you don't know what he's done? The film stars Roy Scheider, Robert Shaw, Richard Dreyfuss, and Bruce. Bruce, after Spielberg's lawyer. Fun little thing. Actually, giving him the name of Bruce makes him seem not as scary now. And for all. This movie is an amazing example of how you can make a masterpiece out of a shitty situation. This film is an iconic staple in pop culture still today, and it's all thanks in part to the mess of a production schedule that this film had. This is one of the first films to ever be shot out actually on the ocean, so director Steven Spielberg had a hell of a time shooting this thing from shot to shot. And the biggest roadblock that he encountered was that the huge mechanical shark didn't work half the time. Spielberg originally wanted to show a lot more of Bruce in this movie, but all I have to say is thank God he wasn't working because the reason why Bruce is so scary is because we don't see him the majority of the film. We are creatures who belong on land. We are not designed to survive in the water, let alone go into it. I mean, unless you're Michael Phelps. A man's a dolphin. And the funny thing is the oceans are so vast to this world that we still don't know the majority of what is out there in the oceans. We are masters here on land, but when it comes to under the surface of the ocean, that world belongs to creatures like sharks who have been here for millions and millions of years. And it's a scary thing to think about because you always fear what you can makers ever. You know that Spielberg finally got his filmmaking degree in 2002? Can you imagine being the professor to read and grade his essays? If it were me, I'd be like, yeah, sure, here you go. Now I have seen this movie several times being played on cable, so I'm very familiar with the censored version. So when I popped in the DVD version of this film, I was a little taken aback by how bloody this film is. The part that really got me was when Alex was being eaten by the shark and blood and water were just starting to gush out at the same time. I was like, whoa, ha, okay. I mean, this is 1975 and they're showing that happening to a kid on the movie screen. I'm telling you, man, the 70s, that was the best decade for film. But also rewatching it, you remember, of course, how scary it is at points, but I also didn't realize how funny this movie is, particularly with the interactions between Brody, Quint, and Hooper. And even when the orca is being circled by the massive beast, these three have some pretty comedic bits in there. And I think if this was handled by any other director, those comedic beats probably would not have landed, if they were in the film at all. But these comedic beats are so genuine that you just buy into it. Scheider and Dreyfus are stellar in their roles, but really the standout of this film is Robert Shaw as Quint. He has one of the best character introductions ever with the nails on the chalkboard and then you find out his backstory with the USS Indianapolis and the 1100 men who went into the water and the 300 men who came out of the water the sharks they take the rest June the 29th, 1945, that was. Just get into his psyche. Yeah, I'd be a crazy kook if that happened to me too. And the John Williams score. Pure genius. Two notes. That's all. And yet they do so much. But he also has this lovely little hero theme when it comes to our three shark hunters. When the orca is giving chase to the shark, it switches back and forth between ba da ba da ba da But that also comes back to the da 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 That's a wonderful, like, cheerful, galloping cadence. Yeah, in case if you can't tell, I love this movie. Jaws was released in 1975 and it still has a huge impact on pop culture today. Everyone knows the iconic poster of the girl swimming in the ocean and then Bruce looking up at her, you know, like a Michael Bay shot. And everyone knows that iconic theme of the shark and they always sing it when they go into a pool or when they go into the ocean. And many people attribute this movie to being the very first summer blockbuster movie. That's right, before Star Wars and before nowadays where you get like 20 big blockbuster films in a summer, Jaws Jaws, the first. The only criticism that I will give this film is its portrayal of sharks being only human eating machines. And even Hooper, who's supposed to be an oceanographer, paints sharks being in this oh, devilish light of just being killers. And they are not that at all. Yeah, sure, they'll bite you, but I mean, they're animals. They're gonna bite you because they're hungry. It's just they got really big teeth and a lot of them. But they are 
beautiful, majestic creatures that deserve our respect. And after this film came out, there were reports of massive shark killings happening at different beaches. Just because this film affected everyone and scared them to going into the water. But there are tourist attractions where you can swim with the sharks, where you can pet the sharks, where you can take photographs of the sharks. So they're not just out there to eat people. Yes, it can bite your arm or your leg clean off, but it's only because he's hungry and you are swimming in its territory. So please don't let this movie convince you that all sharks basically need to be exterminated. They are beautiful creatures that deserve their place in this world just as much as we do. And hell, they've been here for way longer than we have, so. What does that tell you? That being said though, this movie did scare me enough to where I didn't even want to go into our backyard pool. Yes, I know it's not salt water, but that doesn't mean that a shark is not gonna magically appear and eat me when I'm doing a cannonball into the deep end. And I know I'm not the only one. Admit it, you did it too. Actually, I still do it sometimes. So I'm gonna give Jaws five out of five Blu-rays. All right, let's see. <laughs> Seriously, this film is arguably the greatest film ever to be made, and I wouldn't argue anyone who made that claim. All right, everyone, now comes my favorite part in my videos where I randomly select which movie I'm watching next. Let's take a look. A League of Their Own. There's no crying in baseball. Oh, there's plenty of crying in baseball. I've seen it. I've actually never seen this movie before. I picked it up, it was extremely cheap because everyone told me about how great it was. And the only thing I know from this movie is that famous line of there's no crying in baseball. I know Tom Hanks is in here, Gina Davis, and I think this is the first film that Madonna ever acted in. I could be completely wrong on that. So I'm excited to check it out and we'll talk about it next time. So everyone, have you seen Jaws? Of course you've seen Jaws. So go ahead, comment below, let me know what you thought about it. And when you're done commenting, please like and subscribe to my channel so you know the next time I'm posting my next movie review. And make sure you stay tuned for my Journey to Episode 100 and Beyond series where from episode 71 to 100 I'm going to be going over a 30 movies a day listing. All of these will be released leading up to episode 100 so please stay tuned for that. So everyone I will see you next time with my review of A League of Their Own. So in the meantime be well, be good to each other, and go watch a movie. Take care guys.